Today I'm going to start my first attempt at making Damascus steel. And this is a piece of 3 16 of 1095. I ordered it off of Amazon. I tried to look for some a little bit longer piece that was a little thinner, but they didn't really have a whole lot of options. So I'm going to start with this. This is my first attempt, so I'm not going to go crazy. But I want to kind of get the process of forge welding down. So I've got my old bandsaw here, and we're going to go ahead and chop this up and a two inch in. All right, so we finally got them all cut and I'm gonna clean them up. I'm gonna make sure all the surfaces are really good and clean so we won't have any impurities in the forge weld. And they're also, a little sharp on the end, I'm gonna knock that off. I'm gonna get them really good and cleaned up on my little belt sander here. And we're gonna get these things ready to get welded together. Got them all cleaned up and I definitely won't use this again. I'm gonna just put them in a vise and use a little floppy disk on a grinder cause that was, my hands cramping up like crazy now. So definitely, Gonna use the grinder next time. Clamp together, got my ground on there, and I've got my welder set to about 100 amp. And we're gonna go ahead and, I think I'm gonna do two beads. I'll probably do one bleed, flip it over, and then do two beads on each side. And then I'm gonna weld a uh, piece of threaded rod or some piece of scrap rod to just have something to be able to twist and hold while I'm forging this out. So let's go ahead and get that done. welded together and got my threaded rod on here now i'm just going to take a wire brush on the grinder and clean it up real good all right we got it all cleaned up and welded together and now it's time to fire up the forge well, this is the forge that i just built and it's a little rough i hadn't really done a whole lot with it and the liner i got some i think it was like three quarter of an inch i found it somewhere stupid cheap and i got it and it didn't work out too well so but it's got about an inch and a half two inches of that liner in there and then some ceramic fire bricks so i think i've tried it one other time and it did really good but if it'll get up to forging temperature we'll see i think it will i'm pretty sure it will because the metal that i just kind of played around with it got real hot so and it's just got two burners on it the i don't remember what these like forced air or whatever but uh i got this thing set up and i got it hooked up to a little propane tank that'll probably run out but uh, we're gonna go ahead and i got everything set up i gotta go cook some dinner and then we're gonna get started all right we got her fired up and i've got it on i'm not exactly sure what psi to run this one at it's looking pretty good and hot in there and I've got it right about two PSI. So we're gonna go ahead and get her in there. Let her go ahead and start warming up. All right, so she's starting to get a little cherry red. And I'm gonna go ahead, I've got some dehydrated borax. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little flux on there. I'm not exactly sure what point you're supposed to, I don't know why it keeps doing that. I may be running out of gas already. But I'm not sure at what point you're supposed to, supposed to start putting flux on, but I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle a little on there. Well, I'm not sure if it's quite up to the right temperature. It looks a little bit orange to me, but I don't think it's really going to get any hotter. And I'm going to have to give her a go. And if it doesn't work, I'm just going to have to build something out where I can block off parts of the forge. But I think we're there. It looks close. It's kind of hard to tell without...
Well, I think one of my big problems was I was running out of gas. And it started turning real yellow inside. Still, the camera won't pick it up. But I got some blue flame in there now. And I don't know why it keeps doing that. But I got the uh, old camper tank on there. I had to steal it off the camper. But she's rolling now. Well, I had to lose some clothes. I can't find my left hand glove. It's just one of those deals. You know how it goes. And I don't think this thing, I don't think it's quite getting there. It's really close. We're gonna see what it does, but uh, even with the bigger gas tank on, pumping it up, it doesn't seem to do very well. Well, I guess, you know, sometimes in life you try and you try, but you just don't succeed. So obviously it does not get hot enough to forge well. So back to the drawing board on the forge. Well, I just got her all cut off and it obviously doesn't get hot enough as you can tell as I beat the snot out of that piece of board or piece of board. I beat the snot out of that piece of metal trying to get it to weld. But I think what I'm gonna have to do, I was gonna originally do this, but I haven't got I thought it would do pretty good because last time I messed with it, it got pretty white, a little metal did. But for whatever reason, maybe it's the fire brick being in there. Or I don't know, I think it's just too big of a forge for two burners. But what I'm gonna do is build a little shelf out and then block off both sides with some fire brick or ceramic brick. And we're gonna have to do that at a later date because right now it's hunting season and I don't have time to mess Anybody's with it. Anybody's got any suggestions? I'm all open ears. I know that uh, this is my first time trying it, so I don't know everything, that's for sure. And you know, the flux is one thing. You can read and read and everybody says this and that. And I've been trying to find a real good one and the best one everybody said was just dehydrated borax. So we tried that out and it definitely, the metal came out a lot cleaner than it normally does. So hey, I learned something, but that's okay. I can't do everything right the first time and you know, that's just the way life goes and i'm gonna keep on trying and as soon as deer season's over with i'll definitely try a little bit more try a little harder but right now we're just trying to get some good deer hunting videos and i hope you like the video and uh, please subscribe we'll see you next time